what else are we going to do? We will ensure that government assets, every asset that was taken away from the people, and we can we will know where it is, we will recover it. Again, don't say the government is witch hunting. No. Give to Caesar. It's not me. If Jesus can say that, why would you want to point a finger at me? In the first place, why did you take what is not yours? So, we committed to this as a package to winning the credibility and the support of others. Very important, fellow citizens. So I will say we focused on job creation, democracy, governance, which includes fighting corruption, but in a professional way. I see people are celebrating, are suggesting that there's a confusion in the fight against corruption. Well, let's wait and see, and see who will have a last laugh. It is the people of Zambia. What else did we focus on? Decentralization, devolution, taking resources away from the headquarters of thieving in Lusaka, and take it to the constituencies. Take the money to the constituencies. That's where the voters are. Yes. That's where the youth are. Yes. So that the youth can get some contracts to do a job to build a clinic in a constituency, yes. rather than importing a foreigner to yes. build a clinic in a constituency. Yes. Guidelines will be provided yeah. on how to do that. And we made that case. Once we made that case, others came through and said, today, this week, HH, Here's an additional $30 million. Yeah. That's how you make your case. You don't make your case, and then on the other day you are stealing from the people. Yeah. We met the IMF. I'm sure you were waiting for that. Yes. We met the IMF. We met the World Bank. We met such other institutions. We expressed our approach, explained to them our approach to running the country. We explained to them that things will be different. In response, goodwill, support, finding solutions where we are unagreed on certain issues so that we can reach agreement, so we can move on on the programs that we've been wanting to do. Re restoring credibility to the financial services sector. Not just locally, but globally. If you don't do that, the cost of money will be expensive. The interests will be higher. For some of you, it doesn't make sense. Ask any business person. You want to reduce the cost of money? Part of what you need to do is to come with credibility to the table. That's what we took out there. If we're going to access funding, which we will for businesses in different sectors at affordable rates, then we'll have done our homework. Then the jobs will come along. Part of our duty is to ensure that our businesses, Zambian, regional, foreign access, especially Zambian businesses, access affordable capital. Then they can expand. When they expand, they'll create more jobs. I guess for the journalists, this subject is a bit boring. But this is real. This is it. This is the one that changes the economy. Yes. So we're very pleased with those meetings. 
and you see some progress around there. The Minister of Finance tomorrow is giving his statement and he will touch on these issues. He will give the details. Listen to him tomorrow. Division of Labor, isn't it? Listen to him tomorrow. These institutions know what was not going on well here. We know what was not going on well and we were able to bridge that gap. They are supportive of us, your leadership. It means they are supportive of you Zambians. They would like us to get into, as we want, an IMF program. Let's not misunderstand the IMF and call IMF conditionality. The fight against corruption is not an IMF condition. It's a UPND government condition. It's the people of Zambia's condition, isn't it? Cutting expenditure is not an IMF program. It is our program. So we can create savings. Getting consensus amongst creditors to dismantle the debt mountain, which is choking a lot of our budget. When we, we do a budget in this country, two items take our money. What are those items? Debt service and salaries, remuneration of those in the public sector. Two items takes away almost 80-90% of the budget. How can you develop with 20% only? You can't. So our job then was to realign the revenue available so that we spend less on consumption and we drive more on investment expenditure. Again, growth will come from there. So we discussed progressive ways of dismantling this debt mountain, which is distortionary. It also doesn't make sense. I ask you a question. Don't answer the question. I'll answer it for you. How is it that you borrow over $20 billion as a country on one side? And on the other side, there are no assets to show the value of 20 billion. How can that be? There's something wrong there. This is a situation we found. And we are determined to unblock it. And that's what we are doing here. So to come to a progressive way of dealing with our debt situation. So that we can release resources for development. There's no question about that that there's an increased investor confidence in our country and we owe it to you, the people of Zambia, who elected the credible team. That's it. We owe it to you. The global stage is now saying Zambia's position has been restored in the community. Just one trip. We will take one or two more trips your guess is as good as mine. With this kind of conversations in our visit, this kind of meetings, with this kind of interactions, we are confident that we will be in a better position, better equipped to turn around our economy, to fight corruption, to recover stolen assets, because we need global cooperation. The colleagues that took assets were quite elaborate. Eh? Assets are far. Some assets, your assets have been taken so far, too far. To retrieve them, we have to cooperate with others. And we are on the road to doing that. With the multiple engagements we had, it was clear that Zambia is now a country that inspires confidence. A country that has regained its respectability, its respect on the global stage. Let's have that same respectability back at home. And when we say things here, we must say things as they are. In window, assumptions based on non-facts will not help the economy. The economy works on sentiments. If you send the wrong sentiments, it will not help the economy. 